Hey superstars, it's your best friend Scott and it's time for a commission video. Today I'm drawing Roger Maris from my best bud Rusty over at COG Sports Cards. Last week I drew Hank Aaron for his co-host Snake, so I guess it's sort of a COG Fortnite around here. Any chance I get to say Fortnite, I'm gonna do it. I love that word. But I've never played the video game though. I'm not much of a gamer. Too many drawings to draw and videos to vid, you know? Rusty, aka Rusty Nuts, aka Rusty L. Finkelbaum III, I made that last one up. When I'm writing up my scripts, I have a word count I like to hit, so I have a tendency to make stuff up. Anyway, Rusty is a mighty fine fella, super nice, super enthusiastic, and super funny. He's a fan of the Cincinnati Reds, baseball card checklists, and Roger Maris, and I'm just glad he didn't ask me to draw a checklist. That would have been really boring for me to do and for you to watch, so Roger here was a fantastic choice. A lot of you know that I'm a Cleveland fan and not necessarily a Yankees fan. And a lot of you know that Maris was a rookie with the Cleveland Indians in 1957. He had a fair amount of power early and despite not hitting for average, he showed a lot of promise. And I read a newspaper article about when the Indians traded him in 1958. The team was run by trader Frank Lane, who really just liked trading. He traded everybody and anybody and he'd even trade the shoes off his feet if given the opportunity. Just about every team wanted Maris. The Yankees offered Bobby Richardson for him, but Frank, who despite needing a second baseman, he didn't want to trade with the Yankees, so he traded Maris to the Kansas City A's for Woody Held and Vic Power. In all honesty, it wasn't a bad trade. Woody had some decent power, and Vic Power hit for average, and he won a few gold gloves. And I think what's funny is that Frank Lane told the A's not to turn around and deal Maris to New York, which is exactly what they ended up doing the next year. The A's ended up with Hank Bauer, who was way past his prime, and Don Larson, who went 2-10 for KC. So, not really a good trade there. Man, I love these little baseball reference rabbit holes. Ooh, I haven't played Immaculate Grid yet today. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. I did not do too well with my grid today. The Marlins always mess me up. Anyway, we're supposed to be talking about Roger Maris, and I've talked about anything and everyone except for Roger Maris, and I apologize. Maris was born in 1934 in Hibbing, Minnesota, so uh, he probably talked like this, you know, but maybe not. He hit a bunch of home runs in 1961, and there was some sort of asterisk thing because people are kind of jerks or whatever, and then he didn't make it into the Hall of Fame despite his historic home run year and winning two MVP awards because he was only a terrific player for a couple of years, and I'm making little quotation marks in the air as I say that, but then I realize you can't see me while I'm recording this voiceover. So then Roger passed away way too young at the age of 51 after a fight with cancer, but uh, Barry Pepper played him in the movie 61, which was way better than one of Barry Pepper's other movies, Battlefield Earth. Hey, look at that, I'm done. I really dig this one. I'm loving those muscles and that overall meathead look, so let's see if Rusty likes it. Okay, are you gonna open yours? Show them? Oh yeah, small reindeer oh. <laughs> Somebody said gum stains. <sighs> All right, knock that thing down in there a little bit. Holy cow. We ready? Whoo! I'm so excited. Boom! Ooh. The man. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. Number nine. Oh, man. How in the world did he do that? How cool that is awesome. that? That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Scott. That is God. so cool. Oh, oh man, Maris. Look at that. Oh, I love those is... sleeves and the... yeah. look at the stadium in the background. Yes. Holy cow, oh, that is awesome. Gosh, okay, these are marker doodles, right? Yes. From Reindeer. I believe he will probably put up his videos for him actually doing them. Um, we asked him kind of if it's okay to make sure we didn't see what they were. We asked him to hold off till we yeah. did this, uh, open them on the show. This is amazing. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Love <sighs> it. 
That is so cool. Oh man, and that stadium in the background and those sleeves yes. are amazing. That is so cool. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Holy cow! These, oh my gosh, that's a awesome. permanent addition on the backside here. God. A permanent addition on your backside? Does that mean you're getting it tattooed on your butt? All right, glad you dig it, Rusty. It was an honor and a pleasure to do both of these for you guys. Thank you so much for asking me to do them. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Love your hobby and make it unique to you. We'll see you on the next one.